Hey guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so you can barely see because they barely fit in the screen together but right here we got two new sxc polygel kits sxc was really kind enough to send me these two new kits i'm so excited to try them and they're unopened and i don't really know what's in them so yeah we're gonna just open these up let's start with this one. Oh, and also i have katsuitis here say hi katsuitis this is a nice box okay so let's open this right up and see what comes in it so this is what you first see when you open up the box we first got here the instructions no way oh my gosh a nail lamp guys i've been using the same old dusty crusty nail lamp since the beginning of doing nails um but here's a new one and it has a timer and everything Ooh, and it even comes with the cord but not just the cord it comes with the plug piece it comes with a sticker and it comes with nail lamp instructions okay so here's everything that comes in that bag you first get a hand file which is 100 and 180 grit next it comes with a buffer i think I think this is a buffer next it comes with some nail gems then it comes with some dual forms and also to go with the dual forms it has this like little clip that you can like clip on the dual forms to your nail and it just helps it stay in place then you get a nail clipper and then it comes with a cuticle scraper a wax pencil it comes with some cuticle oil and a poly gel brush which is this really pretty pink color oh yeah oh my gosh this is like a big brush this is bigger than normal next thing we got some nail decorations so we first have these really fine glitters and then it comes with some chunky glitters in all these different colors and next the poly gels so first of all it comes with some slip solution which isn't our normal slip solution it's like this really liquidy kind of gel then it comes with base coat and top coat and it comes with six different poly gels okay so let's just get swatching the first color we have here is clear next is a light pink white next we have nude next is pink and the last color is dark nude Okay, so here are all the colors that come in this kit. They are really, really cute. Okay, so now we have the next kit. This is called the Lazy Girl Series. So let's just open this one up. And you first get the instructions once again. And next we have another nail lamp in here. Pretty much the same thing as the last one. And it also comes with a cord and the plug again. Next, we have the sticker, which I actually really like this one. This one's so cute. <laughs> and the nail lamp instructions. All right, and in the next little bag, it has all this stuff. First, we have some foils, some silver and gold ones. Next are some colorful tapes. Then we have some butterfly glitters, some iridescent glitters, some really fine pink and hollow powder, some chunky blue glitters, and some nail gems. And next we have some dual forms, a 100 and 180 grit hand file, some tweezers, a wax pencil, and another poly gel brush. And to make this the Lazy Girl series, they included some full cover nail tips. So yeah, here are the stiletto ones, and here are the ballerina ones. These are nice and long too, which I like. All right, and next is the poly gels. Okay, so you first get some base coat and top coat, some slip solution, and some extend gel. This is for the full cover tips. You also get some cuticle oil. Next, you get three different poly gels. The first color is clear. Next is white. And the last color is pink. Okay, so here are the three different colors. These ones are so cute and very simple. I like them. All right, so yeah, that is pretty much it for the unboxing. Let's just get right into this nail set. Okay, so I have my sister here, Kat's Yetus, and here are her natural nails. So we're just gonna start off by pushing back the cuticles. 
Okay, now I'm gonna take this circular cuticle drill bit and I'm just gonna work this around the cuticle area. Okay, and next I'm gonna take some cuticle scissors and I'm just gonna trim off this excess dead skin from around the cuticle area. Now I'm gonna take my sanding band and I'm just going to remove the shine from all the nails. Okay, now I'm just going to smooth out the edges of... <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna smooth out the edge of the nails. Okay, so we're gonna put on a peel off base coat just so these nails can come off really easily because she doesn't plan on keeping them on. So we're just gonna add some cuticle oil to each of the nails and then we're just gonna rub that into the nails. All right, and now we're just gonna take some top coat and I'm gonna put some top coat on each of the nails over this cuticle oil. And this is our peel off base coat. Okay, next we're gonna be using these not polished nail tips. And I'm just going to size these all out. Okay, and now I'm going to glue on the nail tips with some base coat. And I'm just going to like cure the nail tips on. So we're just going to put some of this base coat at the tip of the nail. And then I'm just going to put on my tip. And you might need a friend when you're doing it this way. And then, yeah, cure please. And we're just going to cure it with the flashlight. So sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. <laughs> Are you okay? I don't we're gonna sew it back on. We're gonna sew it back on. Ma'am, you just allow us to sew it back on, okay? All right, how do I make it not Make good? it crooked that way. Yeah. Okay, go I think. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my tip cutters and cut down these nails. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my hand file and I'm just gonna reshape these nail tips just a little bit. And now I'm just gonna use my sanding band and I'm gonna remove the shine from all the nail tips. And I'm also gonna blend down this little bump of base coat we got there. Okay, and now we're going to be adding on a layer of base coat over all these nails. Okay, so we're gonna start on the pointer finger. I'm going to be using the white poly gel and the light pink poly gel because I'm gonna be doing an ombre. You don't have to do an ombre on this finger, but I decided to be a little bit extra with it. So I'm going to. We're just gonna take this white poly gel and start at the tip of the nail. The consistency of this is actually pretty good. I actually don't mind it at all. It's not runny, which is really nice. I really don't like runny poly gels. So we're basically going to be doing an ombre, yes. Like I said, I'm just starting off by pushing all this poly gel to the edges of the nail. So I'm just trying to drag off a little bit of this extra poly gel because this is an ombre. So we're gonna have to encapsulate it and we don't really want the nail to be too thick. Okay, so that's pretty good. So we're just gonna cure this in the nail lamp. Okay, and now we're gonna be taking the light pink and I'm just gonna put some of this cuticle area. Okay, now I'm just gonna push this as close to the cuticle area as I can. Alright, and now once I have it looking kind of like this, I'm just going to be dragging up this poly gel into the rest of the nail to make that ombre. Okay, so here's what we got for the ombre nail so far. I know it looks a little bit weird, but once we encapsulate it, I'm sure it'll be fine. And once again, you just wanna make sure that you're cleaning up around the cuticle area before you cure this, because you don't want your cuticle area messed up and then you cure it and then it's just gonna be annoying. So yeah, we're gonna cure this right now. Now we're just gonna encapsulate this nail, you know, finish it while we're here. Okay, so here's what the nail looks like after we've encapsulated it. I think it looks pretty good to me, so we're just gonna cure it. Okay, and now all the other nails are just gonna be this light pink color.
okay so here's how the nail turned out now we're just gonna cure this okay so after all the poly gels on we're just gonna wipe off this sticky residue that gets left on the nails like after you cure them okay and now we're just gonna get reshaping these nails Okay, so here's how the nails are looking after they have been shaped. Now we're gonna start on this nail art. Okay, so we're first gonna start off by painting top coat on these nails. Okay, now we're gonna get some black gel polish. So we're just gonna start off by painting some drips on the nail using this black. Okay, now we're gonna start on the drips. So I'm just kinda gonna get a dot of this black gel on the end of my brush. I'm gonna make these drips. I'm just gonna start off with the dot and then I'm gonna drag this up. Hey Siri, tell me a scary story. Look out. My systems have been haunted by ghost-written tales of terror. Here's one now. This tale is called, The Mask of the Red Face. The old clock struck ten on All Hallows' Eve, and a ghoulish gathering was underway. Echoing through the old house, the assembled guests danced and frolicked, their masks and costumes terrifying in the flickering candlelight. Then, a lone figure stalked across the threshold, clad in a black robe, his face masters a leering red skull. The mysterious guest would have been horrifying to behold, were it not for the macabre occasion being celebrated by the revelers. Who are you? cried out the lady of the manor. What have you brought here? It was then that the tall spectre's mask truly fell, and all those in attendance had a frightful realization, for behind the mask lay a face both scarlet red in color, and hideous in aspect, twisted in an expression of horror. And all soon realized the terrible hopelessness of their situation. It was Jeff. He'd forgotten to bring the guacamole to the Halloween party. What the heck? Okay, now I'm gonna take this iridescent glitter and I don't have any black fine glitters so I'm hoping that this iridescent one will like blend into the black and kind of turn black maybe okay and now i'm just gonna sprinkle it on all right let me clean around the cuticle area i mean i like it i'm not gonna lie and i'm sure when the top coat goes over that so that's the pinky nail done next is the ring finger I'm just gonna add some top coat over the nail. I'm gonna be sprinkling in the glitter. The pointer finger is also gonna be glitter. Like I said before, you don't have to do this nail ombre, but I wanted to because I felt like it. All right, now I'm just going to dust it off. Any of that extra glitter. Back to the ring finger. We're gonna be doing some nail art over this. So I'm just gonna add a layer of top coat on here. All right, so I'm just gonna take some white gel polish and um, I'm just gonna make some ghosties. One ghosty over here. So actually I'm gonna have to put two layers of top coat over this because you know, the glitters are bumpy and it's just harder to put nail art over bumpy glitter. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot better. All right, so we're first gonna start off by making a little ghost up here. Oh, 
Okay, now we're gonna make the little ghosty arm. All right, that's ghosty number one. He's actually so adorable. And then I'll break him before you ruin him. Before I ruined him, I created him. Now we're gonna make the next ghost. Okay, now that the little ghosty woasties are done, we're going to add on their face. Next, we're gonna be doing the hearts down the middle. So I'm gonna take my dotting tool. Oh, you just start off by making two dots and then you take your nail art brush and just connect them at a point and then connect them at the top and you got your really easy hearts. Okay, so here's what we got now. We're just gonna cure this. Okay, next we're gonna be needing some light pink gel polish. And we're first gonna start off by top coating the nail. So we're gonna paint on this heart-shaped spider web by starting off with a heart shape. Now I'm a little bit afraid for this one. Oh man, why me? Okay, so it stopped recording, but here is what I have for the heart shape. I mean, it's good enough. Now we're gonna start on these spider webs. Here's how the heart spider web turned out. Um, I'm not erasing it, I'm not redoing it. It's good enough. Okay, next we're going to be adding on some stitches onto this nail. All right, so we're pretty much done with the nail art. Now we're gonna finish the thumbnail. So we're just gonna add some black gems like on the side here. I'm just gonna adhere them with some top coat. <laughs> they all came out perfect. Here. Okay, and for the finishing touch, we're gonna be adding on this tiny spider charm to this heart-shaped spider web. Last thing, we're just gonna finish off this nail set with some top coat. Okay, now we're just gonna add some cuticle oil to the nails. Here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of these nails in the comments. I actually really like how they turned out. What do you think, Katsidis?
my pointer finger reminds me of Venus Flytrap, the Monster High doll. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I think it's actually really cute. It was a really cute design. And uh, here's what we did on the thumbnail. And um, yeah, this SXC poly gel kit, I actually really like it. It's pretty good, especially for the price. This poly gel kit is only $20 on Amazon. When I saw that price, I was like, no way, cannot be. And it comes with a full lamp, a lot of poly gels. Like literally it comes with everything you need. And I think it's really worth the money. Like $20 is really good price. So yeah, all the information for these two poly gel kits will be in the description. Description. I definitely recommend them and it's very affordable. Okay, yeah, so here's a few close-up shots. I really like how they turned out. Luckily, I didn't need like an exact glitter shade that matches this or an exact black glitter to go over the black gel polish. I could just use that clear iridescent glitter and it worked out really nicely. Let me know what you guys think of this heart-shaped spider web. That one was the hardest one for me for sure. Here are her two sets together super cute okay <laughs> what is that pose <laughs> anyway spooky pose montage spooky pose number one <laughs> spooky pose number three i mean two i mean two <laughs> spooky pose number three <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.